right, so everybody, I am here with Matt Lee, who is probably one of the very small number of people that I really, really listen to. When his mouth opens when it comes to security, I listen to this guy. I didn't so, pay for that. No, yeah. he didn't, but it's the absolute truth. Oh, thank so, you. Matt, just one quick question. If there's one thing that MSPs need to be thinking about today yeah. when it comes to security, not just tools or things right. like that, but strategy and concept philosophy, what is it? It's defensibility. What I mean by that, and I feel like Bob Barker holding this thing, right, it's amazing. Right. Yeah, it's like, ah, what did you win today? They're fun, but they make yeah, the audio yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the defensibility by that concept, I mean, it's not your job as an MSP to protect your client's network. It's your job to be defensible in how you chose to protect your client's network. The days of being the smartest guy or gal in the room that says, I need malware protection because it does this, are gone. Yep. You have to have a reason, a framework, something that you're tying to that you can reference saying, this is good standards and this is why I do it and it's not me. But more importantly, you have to actually be able to prove you're doing it. You have to actually prove you're actually doing the actions. And, and by defensibility, I'm thinking in the sense of, you know, basically the DOJ just came out on Tuesday and said, listen, we're going to start suing for fair trade application because you guys are saying you're monitoring logs, but no one's actually monitoring logs or false advertisement. And, and so you start seeing this world where if you can't defend your actions, if you can't prove what you did, you can't prove what you said you were going to do and that you accomplished that, you're going to find yourself in a larger and larger regulatory and a larger and larger lawsuit and litigious aspect of loss yep. as an MSP. And, and it won't just be about whether you lost, because you're going to lose. You're going to have a virus happen. You're going to have malops. You're going to have business compromises. You have to be able to defend the actions you took to both cover it and fix it, protect against it, and iterate and show that you've gotten better at what you're doing over and over and that you've found ways to protect, identify, defend, right? Protect, yeah. you know, the, the, so, the five. So, so if I'm hearing you right, it's, it's not just about protecting their clients. Right. It's about making sure that they're documenting, they're auditing yep. to make sure that they can prove that the services that they sold to the client, yeah. they have deployed, have been monitoring, and been keeping up with. And, it's, and, and even more so that you didn't just shoot from the hip, right? So if you that's right. step one. Step two is, I didn't just make this up. I used this for this control one on CIS or NIST or, or whatever you're going to choose. Right. I'm a CIS person primarily because of its, its prescriptiveness. Right. But the point is, is that you should start thinking about, is this a defensible action? Right. Simply resetting this password and not documenting anything about this incident, is that even defensible? It's not. So now you have to have an incident response plan. And so as you start thinking about defensibility, it actually just has fingers everywhere, right? right it starts right. stepping into all of those things that say, I've got to mature. Um, and as you start seeing those things play out and as you start seeing this government grapple with the just abject loss that we have in the United States, we're going to start seeing things where there's going to be a more professional service in what we do. My doctor, when I go in and get my checkup and says, Matt, you need to take blood pressure medicine, not only does he say it to me and prescribe it, he writes it down and he can prove it. Mm -hmm. So that when I die of a heart attack and I wasn't taking my blood pressure medicine, that doctor has defensibility in their choice and actions. We're not good about that in the MSP. Yep. We're, we're really good about saying, you know what, I'm the smartest guy in the room, just trust me, I've got this. And I think we're starting to see that that's not going to be enough anymore. So it's yeah. something that's not new right. to other businesses, yeah. but it's new to this industry. It's new in its application to us in this industry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All so. right. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, Matt. Always Let's a get pleasure. get hug it out for the end. There you go. It's a new time. We can touch yep. again. So. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks, Matt.